Rain makes for a rough ride at the Wira Road Race season opener. Hamill wins again and comes to Moto World to tell us all about it. And Raynard runs his last amateur national. He set his sights on the big leagues. You found the hot spot for motorcycle action. Moto World is coming at you. Moto World is brought to you by Suzuki. Right now, your Suzuki dealer has the ride you've been waiting for and the financing to get it. Discover today's motorcycling. For the straight facts on motorcycling, call 1-800-833-3995. And by Honda Motorcycles, the leader in on- and off-road fun. Honda, come ride with us. Hello everyone, I'm Dave Despain. Welcome to Moto World. There is a lot to talk about this half hour, so we won't mess around. It's very early in the motorcycle season. Some of you folks up north still have a foot or two of snow standing between you and your first two-wheeled adventure of the year. But read the calendar. It's time for season openers. And so we go straight to sunny Florida and round one of the Wira Pro Road Racing Series. Unfortunately, Sunshine State Nationals proved a misnomer. Granted, past Formula USA champ Rich Oliver had a sunny smile despite crashing in practice. He came back on the same bike to take the 250 class pole and joked that the motor ran better with all that mud in the carburetor. That's right, mud caused by rain, which led to several impressive get-offs. This is Tony Tugwell, and he's a lucky boy. Watch the leg caught under the bike. Still, when he found his feet, he was very unhappy with Tim Rule. And if we slow this down and take another close look, you'll see exactly why. Tugwell on the brakes with Rule right behind him. But when number seven turns in, watch the exhaust pipe. The clutch lever on Rule's machine actually catches the muffler, and that's what pitches Tugwell onto the ground. More bad luck now for the powerhouse Team Suzuki Endurance number one. In the midst of come-and-go showers, the bike spit its chain. Michael Martin pushed it halfway across the state, finally got a toe to the pits. Read the lap board and the scowl on the face of team commander-in-chief John Ulrich, and you'll understand the big Suzuki had a big lead when trouble hit. Martin, who is in pretty good shape, was worse for wear after the long push. And worst of all, the team fell five laps behind these guys. Jay Bartlow and Charlie Safley, Team Virginia Breeze, breezing along at race winning pace. Till they broke the cush drive in the rear wheel, they thought it was the gearbox didn't bother pushing it in, and that was a bad decision because that left a close battle between Martin and teammate Kurt Hall and the number six of Jim East and Doug Henry, Royale Racing. At the flag, the defending champs turned it around, won it by a little over a lap, notching their 83rd victory. No,